I'm making the RAM slide. Uh, I already filed one side uh, straight. Uh, now I'm doing the other side. Uh, I already filed it on the edges. Uh, is it the same width? But in the center, perhaps you can see it. Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, here. Here is a little bit of uh, a dip. Okay, but we'll get there. Um, the plate is very corroded, but I will clean it up. Uh, to make it equal, I put it on the surface plate. Let's see. It's this side is done. It's this side. Yeah. Okay. So now it's filing. plate is done. Gliding plate is done. 12 bolts. Uh, I'm gonna put it up. So. It runs smooth. And tomorrow uh, I'm gonna make the gips. Uh, in the gips or we'll, I will make the connection bar uh, don't know yet we'll see tomorrow ok I've decided to make uh, the connection between the, the ram and uh, the oak uh, but as always I will do it again differently as in the book I found this block I machined it uh, no, some years ago and I will use this I will drill three holes through holes here and will put this here uh, then I will drill two holes uh, five centimeters two inches apart and I will connect uh, two bars directly to here uh, so I can uh, regulate the position of the ram or here or here uh, in the connection rods I will drill also two holes uh, an inch apart so I have I will have four different positions of the RAM. Uh, why I'm doing this? Uh, the book says you need uh, uh, two bar stocks, uh, five uh, eighths of an inch. My uh, uh, my shaper that should be 20 millimeters square. Uh, I don't have it. Uh, so I'll do it differently. Okay. Okay. 
the block is bolted on two holes uh, so now we can make the connection okay I've made the connection bar uh, it's two pieces of uh, 16 millimeter square uh, stock and I put an angle iron welded it uh, so it takes the same position uh, drill two holes uh, one inch uh, 25 millimeters apart so uh, this part comes here so and the other part will go to the ram so that's the first then I don't like the ram to slide here on aluminium so I made two pieces of two millimeter steel which I put in here with two uh, small cap screws uh, on this side I've made an angle that comes here also with two cap screws then I have the shim this comes here then comes oh, that's already heavy this comes here so uh, and then I made the two plates both sides uh, I've drilled two holes for oil and here are the shins which I these come here and the whole thing is bolted down uh, here I have two shims here I've only I only needed one on the other side so now I will paint these two on the top uh, and then we will connect everything okay everything is installed uh, the link is installed the top plates are done so I've put the vice grip on the axle uh, so we can turn it uh, it's working well let's turn it around it's heavy and let's so now I'm gonna make uh, I'm gonna connect the pinion uh, and the axle uh, here I need uh, two pulleys uh, and here will come a, a wheel for manual operation so you can uh, position uh, the ram. Right. 